Um, thank you all for being patient with us today. As you know, budget time has traditionally been a trying time, and in this particular year, an extremely trying time. Uh, but we hope to conclude our business tonight. Uh, I must say, uh, for the record, that this has been a rather difficult process uh, for a number of us. Um, we hope that the outcome is one that uh, will obviously benefit pretty much every citizen in the city of Philadelphia. Um, the action that we will take um, will probably have some people with a sour taste in their mouths, but we believe that uh, working with those individuals uh, on a long-term basis, we will ensure that uh, this will be a fair and equitable solution as it relates to our ability to do what we can to benefit the citizens of the city of Philadelphia. So I just wanted to say that before. Um, we have pretty much concluded um, our public testimony this afternoon. Um, so at this time, I would like to call on the administration for brief testimony, and that will be followed by Councilman O, who will uh, make a brief presentation and let's go from there. Thank you. Council Good President evening. Clark. Good evening. Uh, and and uh, members of the committee, um, Council President, you asked us to uh, give a short testimony on um, where the proceeds of the tax would go and the impact that the tax would have on our fund balance. Um, so um, at, at $91 million, um, the proceeds would go to pre-K, um, community schools, uh, a little bit for Parks and Rec's employees, which we added at, at your suggestion, um, debt service on rebuild, um, the tax credit program that Councilman Reynolds Brown um, proposed, um, some modifications to the budget based on discussions we've had with Council, and then a portion would go to fund balance. Um, that portion that would go to fund balance is important to us because our fund balance numbers um, get, rel get very low um, during the course of the plan um, and would be even lower with that, without these revenues. Um, and um, so that's, that's where the revenues would go. Okay. Um, just for the record, you know, we'll, we'll probably have some sort of a release indicating the fund balance issue, but just for the record, um, while you have continued, not only in this administration, prior administrations reference fund balance challenges, um, this one for the record, um, this connection between the fund balance issue and this proposed tax measure uh, was not a part of the earlier discussions, and it was made known um, extremely relatively recently that, in fact, was um, where the early uh, early years of the revenues being generate, generated will go to the fund balance. So that's for the record. That's correct. That was the, not yes. a part of which. Right. That's correct. By the end of the, actually, when you get to the fourth year, by then, all of the money is really going to the initiatives. But in right. the early years, some of it goes to right. fund balance. Okay. So that could have made a much more uh, different conversation. Um, I know for me. Understood. Uh, I've had known that early on that that was the basis for the additional revenue. Um, any questions by members of these witnesses? Councilman Greenlee? Just very quick. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Just very quickly. I just have to add what he said. Um, it's too late in the evening to get in an argument, but I just was disappointed uh, that that fund balance issue was never brought up. And do you have any quick statement on why that wasn't? No, we should have brought it up earlier. <laughs> OK. Like I said, it's late in the evening. I'll leave it go like that. Yeah, but, I, you, you know, I hope in the future we could get full disclosure. That's all, you know, uh, because we heard it was all about the kids, all about the kids. And, you know, at some time this afternoon we heard it's also about fund balance. Just yeah, no, tell us everything we need to know, and I think it could help a lot better. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, President. No, I, I, I concur, Councilman. Uh, could have been a much different debate, but it is what it is. And Mr. DeBeau. As usual, as a crafty veteran of the budget wars, give you a quick answer. It's, it's our <laughs> fault, right? It's kind of hard to argue with that. 